Hi everyone, this is uh, Dr. Raymond Rofi with Blue Sky Bio. So in this video, I want to show you the different functionalities between the Boolean functions here in the Crown and Bridge module in Blue Sky Plan 4.8.3. Um, I've just placed some examples here to show the difference between here in the Teeth Edit panel in the Crown and Bridge module. You can see the Boolean operations, right? So there are three different functionalities. You have union, Boolean intersection, and Boolean difference. So Boolean union means that you are joining two objects together. For example, here I have a wax up tooth. So let me go here to the teeth surfaces panel. Let me make visible my wax up tooth. Okay, so this is the wax up tooth. Or I can even, even better, I already created a crown in the crown and bridge module, which is a tie base crown, right? But for any reason, let's say that I want to, instead of doing a tie base crown, I create as well, and I'm gonna show you that later on in this video, this is a custom healing abutment, right? This custom healing abutment will be a, meanwhile, the healing process, here you have a perfect custom healing abutment, but let's say that you don't want to use a tie base because you have to cut it, etc. right? And you want to go directly to the implant and screw that in. So what you do here is you grab your custom healing abutment, which has the same emergence profile as your crown. And then what you do there is you grab your abutment. This is my abutment that I created here in my surgical panel so here if you can see in my implant list i have the implant the abutment and the tube so what i did is i went to file export data i selected only the abutment to export only the abutment to export no nothing else then i click export and, and now it's here in my desktop, for example. I just need to drag it and drop it inside of Blue Sky Plan again. The benefit of this is that the abutment will have already, you skip the alignment and it will be already aligned in the same exact position as it was exported. But now it's an STL file. It's not an abutment anymore. So what we can do here is we go to advanced, I'm sorry, to the modules, change to crown and bridge. Here we have now the implant and we have the abutment and we have the imported part, right? So here I will just right click on the implant, toggle visibility, I don't want the implant now. I'll as well toggle the visibility of my abutment. And this is the software abutment. This is not an STL file, this is a software abutment. So I'll right click on it and toggle the visibility off. Now I'll bring here, I'm gonna name this tie base STL. So what I'm going to do here is I will click this visible and I'll go to the teeth edit panel on the Boolean operation union. I'll grab here, for example, this is called the custom crown BP1 and the tie base STL. And then on the offset will be zero. And there you go. Now I have a full now I have a custom, oops, sorry. So now I have a custom healing abutment that I can screw down into my fixture. This will be just resin. So you can do this, or I mean, you can use whatever you want and just trim this, smooth this with burrs, and you're good to go. Um, so this is for the union. Now, another idea for the intersection, for example, here. You have the crown that you created in the crown and bridge module. This is a titanium base. This is a screw retained restoration that will go on top of a tie base, right? So what do you do here? Let's say that you want to go all the way into digital and you select your crown and you select your maxillary mo or, or the model that you're working in. So what you do here is you will go again to teeth edit panel and select here intersection. When you select intersection, 
you will select first the tooth. You want to create an intersection between the tooth, which is a custom crown, and the model, which is the upper jaw in this case. And we'll just click here, apply. And now we'll get that intersection as a new STL file. You have, let me show you, you have here the custom healing abutment. This is a custom healing abutment. And of course you have here the areas of the interproximal surfaces that they were also impinging on the model. So these two, we can just delete them. They, they're not really of our interest. And then here we have the custom healing abutment, right? It has exactly the same emergence profile as your crown. As a, and as I showed you, you can export your abutment, import it back, and then you use a Boolean union and you can go directly to the implant. A, another functionality here of the Booleans is the Boolean difference, right? So let's say, for example, that you want to do a... So let's say that you want to Boolean difference from a guide. It could be a guide, it could be a guide without an implant and then become like a night guard. It could be a positioning guide for implants. I do that a lot for full arches. So what I do here is I use the the first object that you want the the marks or the path to be marked in. And then I use the second model that I want to subtract that from. So for example, here I have the visibility of my model, of my mandibular model. Let's say that I want to use this occlusion to confirm the positioning of my guide. So here I can go to teeth edit panel and create a difference between the guide and the lower jaw model and click apply. And here what I'm going to get is another a new STL Okay, so let's click out the visibility of my lower jaw. Click out the visibility of my surgical guide. And I'll have the new STL file with the occlusion marks in there. So well, there's another functionality that I want to show in this video, which is a closeness. It will just show us how close two objects are. So for example, again, I want to show the closeness between the, the new surgical guide call it whatever you want and the lower jaw okay you select both and you click just the visibility of one of them you can select here the closeness between both objects okay so that's pretty much it if you don't want any of these closeness so let's let's say that you're doing an occlusal adjustment what you do is you go here again to teeth edit panel and you create another difference of your guide with window or of your first, I'm sorry, of your Boolean STL and the model, but you create here an offset. For example, here I'm going to create an offset of 0.5 millimeters, just for saying, and I'll click apply. And this will give me, or it should give me, a new STL file. Let's see. Here will give me, I'm going to take out the visibility of my first STL. I'm going to take the visibility of my second STL. And now I'll have the new STL file with an offset. So let's say it enlarged the area of the model. So you can see here, I'm sorry. The, let me change colors. So you have here the Boolean or the second model, okay? Without the offset, it's smaller. And then the model with the offset is bigger. And just by the way, it's just bigger in the area of the offset. Let me show you this. So you can see there is no difference between both. We can check that out in the NPR or in the tangential views. 
Here you have one model, two models. You click the hint of these two and you can just check how close are these models. They are exactly the same but on the areas that we created the booleans, the, the offset, you can see you can see that it's only offset the boolean part right so this is really beneficial if you can create i mean it's not a functionality yet but you this is a way that you could create a night guard or a reduction guide or i don't know you name it your imagination is the limit okay well thank you for watching i hope this video is not too long and it actually makes sense but okay see you bye bye